Parasites have always been something that we're scared of. But what do you think if I tell you there is a species of parasite that can keep you young forever? Being a host to parasites is not a fun thing to think about. It's gross and disgusting. The parasites often give back nothing but sicknesses and diseases. Oh my god! But there is actually a type of parasite that gives its host the appearance of youth. And also an unmatched social power. Say hello to temnothorax ants, our lovely hosts that carry the elixir of life inside their bellies. Or should I say, they carry the tapeworm parasites that paradoxically prolong the life of their host. So, how does it work? How come the ants get to stay young and not humans? A German entomologist who studies the ants and their tapeworms indicates that infected temnothorax ants live at least three times longer than their uninfected nestmates, and perhaps much more. Parasitic infections are usually harmful to their hosts, but there are some exceptions, not today, like this case right here. And according to the researchers' observations, such ant workers have a survival rate similar to that of queens, and the queens of this species can live up to 20 years, while the workers rarely reach the age of two. Temnothorax is a tiny species of ant found in woodlands in Western Europe, nestled neatly into the hollowed out shells of acorns. The insects are relatively small, with a body length of just 2 to 3 millimeters. And under typical circumstances, temnothorax ants live as most other ants do. They live in communities ruled by a single fertile queen, attended by a region of workers whose lives are quite predictable. Their tasks range from caring for the queen and the young, foraging, policing conflicts in the colonies, and waste disposal. All that. They're pretty boring. Uh, apart from the whole freaky parasite thing. Infected ants are usually the workers. Once infected, the worker ants start to show signs of laziness. Instead of doing their usual tasks, the ants don't do much work. Today I don't feel like doing anything. Their days are spent lollygagging about the nest, where other workers shower them with gifts of food and care as the parasites slowly alter their scent, tricking their nestmates into thinking these infected fellows are queens. They also seem to elude the damaging effects of old age, retaining a durably adolescent physique as their outer shells are soft and their hue distinctly tawny. This video shows a colony of temnothorax ants parasitized by the tapeworms. You can clearly see how the ants are so inefficient and almost motionless when the man removes the roof of the nest, which is totally different from how normal ants would react. And while other uninfected ant workers, who have nearly identical genomes, perish within months of being born, these death-defying insects live for years and years. So, it turns out that this magical parasite is a type of tapeworm called Anomotania brevis. The tapeworm lives in the gut of a woodpecker in the first place. If its eggs, shed with the bird's feces, are picked up by forager ants and fed to the colony's larva, then the life cycle continues as the parasites hatch and set up permanent residence in the young ants' abdomens, where they can access a steady stream of nutrients. And in return, they offer their host an unconventional renter's fee. Rent? an extra-long lifespan. A single ant can be infected by up to 70 parasitic larvae. That's quite a lot for a tiny insect. The tapeworm will only complete its life cycle if an infected ant is eaten by a woodpecker that feeds on the ants. Despite their old age, the infected ants' bodies still bore the hallmark of youth. Well, that makes sense because they don't have to do anything rather than lounging around all day performing none of the tasks expected of workers, while being fed, cleaned, and taken care of. And they give absolutely nothing in return. 
These guys were difficult to distinguish from uninfected nurses, who are usually the most juvenile members of the colony's working class. I have to say that it is quite amazing that a parasite can trigger such a positive change in its host. So what do the parasites get in return? It was only when the researchers took a closer look did the truth begin to unravel. The uninfected workers in parasitized colonies were laboring harder. Strained by the additional burden of their wormed-up nestmates, they seemed to be shunting care away from their queen. They were dying sooner than they might have if the colonies had remained parasite-free. At the community level, the ants were exhibiting signs of stress, and the parasite's true tax was at last starting to show. The cost is in the division of labor. The worms were tapping into not just one individual ant physiology, but also social interactions. Although the tapeworms had infected only a fraction of the temnothorax workers, they were actually puppeteering the entire society. And that sounds like it comes straight out of a psychological horror movie. Identify it. One of us. Which one? One of us. It's very frightening to think about. Imagine if we were actually willing to risk everything by hosting the nasty little parasites just to live longer and look younger. That would be very disturbing, I must admit. Tapeworms of these species can't mature into adults and produce eggs until their ant host is consumed by a bird. But if you think about it, ants who spend all their time lazing around the house make for easy prey. So, the worms make their magic by unleashing a slurry of proteins and chemicals containing loads of antioxidants that impact the host's hormones, immune system, and genes. Speak English! Simply put, the parasites are effectively flash-freezing their host into a preserved state, one that will up their own chances of survival and help guarantee that their species lives on. These poor little ants. If you think about it, these ants, after all, are the parasites themselves. But would you be willing to take the risk to be young forever? For me personally, the thought of having tapeworms living inside your body is not something fun even if the worms help you retain youthfulness. As usual, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything from Wildpedia.